Ahoy and win and welcome. No. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with If be some first mate trick here at your service. And welcome to an extra Minecraft stream that we're doing this week. Because, well, we had an opening and <coughs> oh, uh, we wanted to do a bit more than well that than what we got done last time. I haven't been able to clean up yet. But since we've gotten a good part into create now and gotten this <laughs> this lovely thing to duplicate all of our metals and such, or at least the ores that we get. Speaking of, let's actually actually be, I should probably put down another chest to mix to make that one bigger. Yeah, probably a good idea. And yeah, today we plan to continue on with trying for tinker stuff. We should have enough materials to make gr oh, of course that that, it, that can be really dumb sometimes when they refuse to turn uh, though in other cases yeah. it can be pretty useful for putting smaller inventories next to each other but yeah <clears throat> anyways it we're going to be trying for more tinker stuff to try and get a furnace set up with that and uh yeah, we'll see how far we come with that. Yeah, for... Again, we are going to do a basement, but to easily do the basement, we need a sledgehammer. Yeah. Also, we can upgrade uh, other... We can upgrade things with Tetra other than just weapons. We can also upgrade our tools with it. Uh, that is kind of handy. Let's see. If we do that, on, put that on there, it gets 20... Durability. Okay, let's put on some string. Since that has the, le the least bo uh, debuffs here. Yeah. And Ooh. yeah, we can also repair it. But of course, we need diamonds for that. Let's see. Oh, we need a stronger hammer for that first. Okay. So we can leave that here for the moment. Uh, yeah, in a bunch of stuff here. If it's, it's the uh, that thing is very good early on. Maybe not. We should maybe not use our diamond tools on it. Uh, yeah, I, I've looked in a little bit into it, and uh, one upgrade to the hammer that we can get is to just put obsidian on there instead of stone, and that would basically well make that would make it a tier five one, I think, which should. Well, that should serve us quite well for a while with it at least. Nice. <clears throat> but yeah, for oh. now we were cooking up drought somewhere. Did we yeah. I think we stashed it away. Yeah, about that. Uh, Yoru you <clears throat> there is a villager house on this island, correct? Uh let's see, there is this here, yeah. I wonder, are the villagers that are still alive? Uh, possibly. <laughs> Certainly not a certainty. Yeah, for I just realized... We could use that house in the meanwhile. Where you can... You know, more securely sleep without something fly inside after you. Yeah, it is only the wild ones that can fly in. But the other things, well, they could come knocking at the door. It's freaking... There we go. What like, did you kill? Uh, cockroach, I'm pretty sure. They have a chance of dropping their wings, which is used to make something, I think. Okay. And the trader's still <laughs> hijacked on their boat. Or, wait. Okay, it looks like the trader is gone, but he left his llamas. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Poison labels. Yeah, those are a thing that evil craft added, and the well they're pretty evil. <laughs> Still they will seek you out and poison you. Oh and dear. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, I can see also making a gatehouse here. And we well, we basically get a free thing for the uh, for cows. And It's 
there's no villager here. Could be that they moved away or that they got killed. Well, congratulations, you're now the new proud owner of this house. Okay. Um... It, it, it could be a good early sleeping house with some cooking of bread and such. At least until, well, you know, we got other things in order. But I, th I think in general it is still a lot more useful up there since we have a bunch of furnaces, a bunch of storage, and it is generally safe against anything that doesn't fly or climb. Yeah. And there is still a case that things can hide underneath this, but that should be easily fixed if we just put a another layer to it. That way they can't uh, shelter underneath. It will allow the spiders a way back in again, but... Yeah, better that than having an ambush ready. Yeah. And we do plan to make walls. Okay, for now though, let's put this back in here. And with these seared bricks, we can get started on the, <clears throat> the furnace or the smeltery. Actually, I think we need to start with a smaller thing. Flint and brick, really. <laughs> okay. Uh, there it is, the, the seared melter. The reason we need this is because we need... Uh, well, we can't build the controller for the smeltery normally. We need to, well, <laughs> smelt it. Ah. So, let's see. Sear the heater. Then the melter. Okay, it's just seared glass. Okay, we should have plenty of glass. Uh, again, somewhere. I still need to sort this, which hopefully I'll get done by next time, when I've actually had <laughs> more than <clears throat> more than a, a day in between. Well, not even a day, just uh, <clears throat> yeah, with work, sleep, and <laughs> not much free time between that. Okay, uh, I'll take that quickly. I'll also throw that. Might as well throw all of the metals that we have in here now. Aluminium. Uh, not some throwing in quartz. Okay, I thought we'd have more than that in there, but no. Okay. Alright, where were we? With the smelter. Which was, I believe, five glass. And then four bricks. Okay, sealed iron gate. Let me just sear it. And we have, let's see, bricks, slabs, stairs, wall. What we need at the moment are the smelter or the melter. There we go. Okay, yeah, we need one of those for that. So we make that. Not the fuel tank, the melter. There, a heater is like a furnace. And then we need a basin. Okay. And now we just put that together. We can we can just slap it here. We're going to break it soon enough after anyways. Yeah. So, uh, is this enough to make the hammer? Uh... We'll have to melt quite a bit of... Actually, we should have enough amethyst and... And enough uh, copper, plenty of copper, to make the anvil and the hammer after that. Okay, the heater goes there. Then the melter goes on top. And all we need then is one of these faucets. There we go. Okay, now what was the controller? Just making double, just double checking here. Seared. Oh no, it's not seared. It's smeltery.
there we go smeltery controller we just need four we need to melt four ingots onto a pair of <coughs> one block of seared bricks so there then we put this in here we grab some more fuel oak tree or oak saplings will do for now still then we need three of this because the the smelter will add a third a third's worth of an ingot to whatever gets put into it so there goes that there goes that and that's now melting okay wait three okay i thought it's hmm i must be rem remembering wrong then but then again this thing is dropped pretty quickly the moment you have act access to an actual smelter <clears throat> okay there it's done so we can break all of this down and well the melter and the heater will probably never be used again unless we actually unless we completely lose everything uh, it's yeah so it's probably practical to have just in case okay double checking diorite we can run through the grinders And we melt, well, not melt, we cook the rest of this. And, hmm. We might end up go being short on the amount of, yeah, we're probably short on the amount of bricks needed. So, yeah, let's just make another stack because we're, we're also going to need more of this anyways, eventually for other stuff to make and, well, for making for making the smeltery bigger. Hmm. Okay, that we ha didn't we have it like that before? Some sometimes the crafting in this game just weird <laughs> wonks itself. Up. Okay, what the hell now? It it was there before. Ugh. Yeah, now I'm confused as well. Should be able to circ uh, convince that. Hmm. There, 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 there. Okay. Okay, why did it... Oh, that... It's sandstone, not sand. Oh. Um. That explains. Now, I'm guessing if we run that through this... Yep, it makes sense. So, go be useful in there. Yeah, like, uh, sandstone is nice, even though in real life it's easy to work with, but also... Let's say this, it doesn't have a long lifespan. Yeah. Since it's made out of, well, sand. Yeah. Hmm. But and it, hmm. yeah, it would look nicer if you we were to build a house in the desert with sandstone. Then it would make sense. But um, yeah, we are not in a, in a desert. Far from it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Actually, there's no need to grab. I I was going to run some gravel through, but it, sand is already being made by this now. <clears throat> Seems today is a, just a coughing day for me so far. Or not, not really a coughing, but a clearing my throat day. But everyone has those days at times. <clears throat> okay. I usually become that after eating pizza for some reason. No. Let's actually get this. Yeah. Play. Go to the back. Not, not that back. 
Drafting. And concrete, no. Wait, what is that is again concrete. Fire Eglomatia? Okay, never heard of that. Daub. Okay, still quite a few things that clay is used for. Okay, there we go. And then just cook that up as well. Now, let's see. We're going to need a an area of 5x5 five five for the furnace. So we can probably put it down back here for the moment. And, okay, yeah, the ash here does confirm something I'd suspected. That some of their roof had actually burned up due to being too close to the lava. Yeah, more reason to keep that underground around stone walls. Okay. And that's the back door I keep forgetting about. I feel like uh, you all, you and me, and all surprise, extremely surprised similar times. Like, you and me have very on point same response to flies. <laughs> they just swat. Oh, wait. Okay, we have some more geodes to break. Ooh. Let's go do that. We don't need the hammer for that, of course. Uh, that went. Here, yes. Okay. Copper, diamonds. What's raw tin? Okay. Nice. Oh, more to throw in here. Uh, let's not put the <laughs> lapis in there. I don't know what that might do. Okay. Hmm. It actually, I just realized. We probably should gather some crimson iron or something, since... Yes, you have a diamond sword, but you don't have much diamonds. Not true. Uh, so likely good to have a... A weapon that's somewhat easier to repair. Uh, let's see. One, two, three... Four, five... Okay. And then we just fill that in, and we're going to put the four the, the forge furnace no, smeltery above that. Okay. Ghost is buggered off. Okay. Smeltery controller. I think hmm. yeah, let's just keep it at the bottom still for the moment we'll see how far how much we can make with this 13 bricks isn't quite enough I'm pretty sure you're plenty sure because 9 is already going to be used in the floor of it itself yep And let's put the controller here for the moment. And yeah, we're going to need one, two, three, four, seven more blocks. At least one of which is going to need to be a fuel sort, a, a fuel holder. And that's plenty, I think. Uh, let's see. I suddenly worry you're gonna burn the entire wall. <laughs> okay, let's see. Seared fuel gauge. Okay. It's just this, it's the same, but no, it's the same amount of resources, but in a different pattern. And there. You can put that right there. And then we need six more of this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now it's done. And it should... 
Yeah, there we go. Smeltering. Nice. This, this can currently hold 108 ingots worth. And the amount of things that can be smelted at the same time depends on the height, which is currently nine blocks. So yeah, nine for each uh, <coughs> for each bit of height, for each block of height. Uh, also, where is there is we ran right freaking past it. Holy crap! Yeah, it, we're gonna make a nicer version of this later in the basement. Just. I'm gonna sound like a broken record. We just need a damn sledgehammer to make the damn basement. Yeah. Um, then we're making it make like. Sledgehammer. Uh, let's see what it is on it. Like. A mine pick does one block at a time. A sledgehammer does. Nine. Nine? Uh, it is nine. Alright. And yeah, but. Uh, these. Just from that, it should be obvious that, yes, sledgehammer will make. Building rooms on the ground so much easier. Okay, now we just need to put a faucet on this. We might as well put the rest over there. And the basin. Okay, the basin is for, for pouring out blocks. And the, <clears throat> the casting table is well for using casts. For which we're going to need a bit of this. And a bit of this. Obviously, we're also going to need sticks. So, let's see. Let's turn all of that into that. Make a crafting uh, table. And then we make a few of... Come on. There we go. Pat these patterns. And these we mix with other things to make new equipment bit. Work new workplaces. Like, the okay, the crafting station we already have. But we can always use another. And I believe if we put that through again, we should be able to make just a flat version or Gene Daxer, that's new. Hmm. Okay, you used to be able to make a, f a more flat version that you could put on top of a different block, but apparently not anymore. Okay, then we have just a block. Not anymore. Okay. A part builder that we need. And that is probably the, the, one of the single most important items in this mod. Then we make a chest. And a pattern. Okay. Crafting station is a log and that. Part builder is that. Okay, part chest needs a chest, wood, and some sticks. And let's see. Tinker's chest, Tinker station. That is what we need at the moment. Or actually, we don't really need this. The Tinker station is the basic version of the uh, Tinker's anvil that we're aiming for. But I'll show it at the very least. We can use it. Uh, we can use it as a repair station later. Okay, so now we take all of these and we put them down next to each other. We can just plop them here for the moment. And the nice thing about these is that they actually connect to each other. So if they're touching, you can just swap uh, between them. That is nice. Okay. Um, this means we can make basically do a literal workbench. Even have a vanilla. Manila ones on the walls behind them, you know, like a, you know, like a, when you go into someone's garage, you see saws on the walls and such. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to make way too many patterns at the moment, just to make sure that we don't run out of the bloody things. Uh, yeah, it was good to have some extra. And I'm going to grab myself a drink. Okay. There, 56 should be plenty for the moment. We put those in there, along with um, <clears throat> along with the material that is compatible with Tinkers. And then we can make actual parts. So like the tool bindings, tool handles, pick head. It's <laughs> pick head just sounds like someone trying to say dick head in a way that won't be censored. 
Okay. And yeah, we can make a bunch of materials, a uh, bunch of parts from that. And also over here, it shows the stats of the material that we're using. And as you can see, stone isn't too good on durability, but it is good for, or it is normal on attack speed and damage, and a bit better than normal at mining speed. Um, <clears throat> also, the, these stats are for whatever parts you make out of them. So. If we make a stone handle like that, it would have these stats. If we make it, if we use it to make an item, <coughs> a part, uh, a head part like an axe head, a pig head, or a, a weapon part, this would be the stats that it would have. For the moment, though, what we need are a plate, a hammer head. And a tough handle, I believe. Also, what we should really do is make that amethyst, amethyst bronze that we were going to make. So, oh, some more gold to run through. Some tin. Iron. I think we might need a bigger <laughs> chest underneath the grinder. Oh, cobalt gets crushed. Actually, yes. Okay, that is, that is very useful since cobalt is rather rare. Okay, let's see. Amethyst, shards, uh, shards. Might as well pick that up. Okay. That, Here we go, that, and, that, that, that. and who are you calling a pickhead? <laughs> and that there. Okay. We're going to need three uh, blocks of amethysts. Of amethyst, of amethyst bronze. Let me double check how it work, how much it makes. Uh, let's see. Casting table melting. No. Where is it? Casting table. Hmm. Wait. Gem gold cast. Okay, I didn't know that that was a thing. Okay, definitely making one of those then, but we should be able to... S hmm. Okay, let's just search it up here. Amethyst, not Amethyst. More than Amethyst. Amethyst Bronze, okay. Which is made with one ingot and one gem for one ingot's worth. Okay, so it is a bit of a loss. And let's see, lava should be... An Lava should be hot enough to melt that with 820 degrees Celsius. Uh oh. Right, just uh, find one of our bloody buckets again. Hey, I think I saw you have a, a cauldron full. Yeah, that's where I'm going to get it from. Oh, I say bucket. That's a basin. Up there. I'm yeah, just taking uh, these with, so I don't accidentally put them away again. Uh, okay. That oh, there we go. And then we put in 27 of this. The, the, the lava gets used up as stuff is melted. And oh, I forgot to grab the copper. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There. Yeah, this will be a lot. <laughs> this, this will be a lot easier to get around. Well, it's already easy to get around, but even easier when it has an even floor everywhere. Okay. Then we yeah, have and I'm probably really gonna need some gold or diamond chest later. Uh, yeah, or we find storage system. We'll find it. Okay. And as you can see, the materials form together to make one block of molten amethyst bronze. So we just put in more, and in the meantime, we pour out... Mm -hmm. Okay, why is this not working? Oh, right. That's a block, not a... a <laughs> okay, that's one thing I completely forgot. Um, let's see. Seared... Drain. There we go. 
There's four bricks and two copper. Uh, do we have any at the ready? Of that? Oh dear. Taking that with, not keeping it in our hands. There we go. Okay. Easy enough to fix. Now, does that work just like that if we put it up there? There we go. More for aesthetic purposes than anything else. Okay, the, it needs to be level with the rest of it. And I don't remember... I think if you break part of... I think if you break part of a, a smeltery, it will retain its contents. But let's not risk it. Also, let's put those back in. So we don't run out of... <clears throat> so we don't run out of uh, saplings. So we could easily go get more. I'm suddenly concerned. Let's see. We need 11 more. To fill this in. Okay, thought we had an axe head, but no. Also, you don't want to fall into a fr into a smell tree that has a fuel source, because it will start to cook you instead. And add your blood to the fuel, or yep. ingots, which can be used in some alloy recipes. But you'd rather <laughs> you'd probably much prefer to put the cow in there instead of you. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. I might have a design idea. No. Since uh, the, the corners are not used, correct? Nope. Hmm. What would you say about glowstone or viridium corners? That could work, yeah. Yeah, actually both. Since that way you can make it tall and make it look stylish and kind of magical as well let's be honest the glowstone would provide some good light yeah so it would look stylish magical and functional comically enough We're going to need to wait on this to finish up, and we might be short. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, we're going to be short on these, so we need to go make more grout as well. Uh, let's see, we have sand, we have gravel, and we have clay. I saw that creeper there. I need to run tests with creepers on how much they need to be able to see a cat before they'll flee from it. Because while you know, most mobs... Now leave cats alone, I believe, but the Walden will specifically go after them, I think, because uh, I, th I think I've said this twice now in each of the streams before this, but uh, I did. I used to have three cats here, not just one. So, may I'll yeah. see if I can just I feel put some should... slabs around it to keep them out. Yeah, I feel like we should probably also soon Fix the down walls. And yeah, that is keeping the creepers away at the moment. Yeah, at least keeping the creepers from door camping us. Okay, another few bricks. Like, we both recently learned you can use creeper mask to avoid creepers to a degree, like they don't aggro you from as far range unless you get too close, then they realize, yeah, they realize that you're not a creeper. This is really good, probably is... You're going robotic. That's not gonna do squat. Uh, oh. uh, there. Okay, better now? Yep. All right, but I was saying is, aim creeper mask not gonna do you a squat if the creepers are guarding your damn door. Yeah. Okay, 
need two more. Now we need... Okay, we need just one more. And then we'll simultaneously have fixed and upgraded the smeltery. And our, our unwanted guest is still hanging around. And there, and there, and there. Also, might as well just empty this out in here. And it will reveal the this. Okay. There, and we need nine of this. There. Okay, well, so that's working. Okay, now we can see that it works because we can see the color of the fluids that will be drained. Which will always be the one at the nice. bottom. Nice. Which can easily swap well, which can easily be swapped by clicking on a different fluid. So yeah. Now we have that. And I think all we need more for the anvil is just a few more bricks. Actually now I had to ask you, how does it feel to sleep almost next to a huge melter of hot prune use? Uh, warm and cozy. If you can stand the smell. Cozy. <laughs> Wait, prune you smells? I would presume it would. Let's see. Okay, four bricks. Or, yeah, four bricks. And three of, well, whatever metals are compatible. Okay, just throw a charcoal at that and be done with it. I wonder, what are we going to make the sledgehammer out of? Uh, I believe amethyst bronze is a pretty good material to use as well. Uh, so likely that. We could make the books for... Actually, where, where did we leave the... Where did they believe that magic book with all of the other books in it? So not all of them at the start. Oh, hello, even more geodes. Uh, just some random anvils around the place. Brewing stands. We need to go find nether wart and blaze powder for that. And might as well go capture a blaze in a blaze burner. Uh, let's see. I'll take that. Oh. Reminds me of another useful tip for you. There's a special weapon blazes are weak to. No. Snowballs. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm not then? kidding. They take. I think it was like double or triple damage, and you can f shoot very far with them outside their aggro range. Okay, we're definitely going to try that out if we can find snow. <laughs> Granite as well in there. Yeah, for it sounds like a more econom economical way of killing them. Yeah, instead of just rushing head for first into them again and again. Yeah, or using arrows. Uh, so arrows, I guess, are good if you have a bow with enchantment of unlimited ammo. Um, hmm. There we go. Okay, that's those pop-ups up there. I believe those are part of the honing that we have with this. So let's put this on. Let's see, hone 100%. Progression towards honing this item. Okay, but what does honing exactly do? I, I did got it, I yeah. it some sort of experience system with it. Ah, yeah, you... okay. We can upgrade from the here. But we need another stone hammer to upgrade our hammer. Okay, simple enough. One, two. One, two. The, I, I, I kind of like this. I think this is cool and all, but this one is also cool in its own way. Yeah, it's... 
it works similarly, but it uh, it's dif it's different. It it's works similarly in that you are just upgrading stuff, but it it's different enough to make it uh, interesting. Oh and yeah. It's there. I also suspect that this one could be a good option for making weapon and armor. But we use the smelter for, well, much production of uh, motor metals and some tools. Yeah. Okay, let's see. We can upgrade the durability of the hammer with this. So, do that. And... Okay, we can't hone any other parts now. Take that out. And actually, we can... We can completely change what a weapon is, you know, what the thing does. We could put an axe head, an axe, an axe head on this instead, as well as uh, a pickaxe head, a tool bot. What? Used as the backside of a single-sided tool, typically yields faster swing speed than a double-sided tool. Okay. A moment. Almost got it cut up there. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's give this a little try. We swap the heads to okay. Can we use for chopping woods? And then we change the yeah, that's, that's a stone axe. And if we change this to a pickaxe head, oh, that used up all of the stone that we had, and I guess I did hear that Enderman. Okay. Pickaxe head. Uh, I, I'm curious of the order, well, like, so, was Solium part of this mod? Uh, I don't think, think Solium is part, with, uh, functions with Tetra. Not without a compatibility mod, at least. Alright, we should investigate which method is compatible with this one, for is. I feel like we investigated this one, the, I saw Crimson Iron was part of it. Okay. And uh, now we turned the hammer into a stone delabra. Okay. Which I presume would work sim would, would work as both an axe and a pickaxe. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now that that's done, let's continue here. Grab the metal. And we might as well start the recipe here. The foot of it, the side of it. This is a pretty basic thing with the Tinker's crafting stations, but the fact that it keeps the items there is just extremely useful, if you ask me. Yeah, it's useful, looks nice, and it also makes you remember what am I? Oh, right, I was making that without need yeah. to open it. Also, <laughs> if you look at the mini map, the tower looks like a biscuit. I did that. And there it we go, Tinker's Anvil. Nice. And now, we can slap this down. Phew, you did. I was just saying, now don't drop it on your toe. <laughs> Now I have plenty of other uh, anvils for that. And we can we can break this without it losing any durability or, or anything, unlike well, normal anvils. Actually, I think they only lose durability when they're used. Also, I just thought of something. We could kind of mix things a bit together by putting the uh, the lava generator underneath the cobblestone generator. Ah, oh, that. Could be possible, but bloody heck, that will be a big construction. Uh, not too big. It would just be a... No, it would just be a an L, sort of. Okay. Yeah, uh, but also, it sounds rather dangerous as well. Uh, we need more faucets. Uh, the thing is clear now, so we can more than safely break it. I think you have full inventory. Yep. There we go. Faucets can be used from th th three sides. So 
So putting one on a corner gets you double the use out of him. So there. There. And there. Okay. Now we need to yep. go smell out some gold. So. Do we... There we go. Got it quick this time. Let's see. We need three parts, I believe. Let me double check. Uh, swords, dagger, pig ads, however you're supposed to say that. And there, sledgehammer. It requires two tough plates, or two large plates, a tough handle and a hammerhead. We have all three parts of those. We just need to, well, <clears throat> we just need to turn them into casts. Since, well, we can't just hammer out parts in uh, the part station there from metal. Or we can't hammer out metal parts out of that. So one, two, three. And we put that there. Wait for the gold to smelt. And yes, you can actually see what's in it. Yeah, don't fall inside and become a Conan statue. And there we go. The gold gets poured out, the part is melted, and the cast is made. And we could use this to just make another, you know, to make a, a plate out of any metal we choose. But for the moment, we're first going to well, make all of the casts. Yeah, that's and probably a smart choice. <laughs> also, um, okay, a maggot, let's just toss that out. I'm not touching that <laughs> any more than need be. You see? Nom 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 nom. <clears throat> Okay, right. now, if we had the Tinker books, we could see what parts would be best to grab at the moment. Uh, let's take a look if we can just work around that for a moment. Let's see, Tinkers. Let's see. Oh yeah, I saw the sodium there. Okay, Hammerheads. Okay, these are of course not usable to us at the moment. Okay, something with good health or durability. So copper, white. Okay, don't know if we've ever I've ever seen that before. Silver at three hundred. Platinum at four hundred. Osmium five hundred. Let's see. Invar, don't think we can make it at the moment. Plated slime wood, we don't have access to. We could make it a cobalt head. Queen slime we can't get yet. Okay. I don't think we have enough cobalt for that though. Because if I remember correctly, oh, okay, we might, we actually might. If I remember correctly, the all of these big parts, or at least the plate and the hammer head, take eight resource. Oh, so, and we only need it for the hammer itself, correct? Let, let's not put the bucket in there. Uh, yeah. This is very interesting. So we're going to use a cobalt hammerhead and amethyst bronze plating. Actually, let me double check that. Uh, let's see. 720. That's also still good. Hmm. But was it, is that better or? Let's see. It has seven mining speeds and 720 durability. And if we then go to Cobalt, that is. Okay, it's a bit slower, but it's also a bit more durable. So, should we go with Amethyst or Cobalt for the head then? We can use the... But we already melted the cobalt, so we might as well go for that. So it's more durable. Let's actually see... A tough handle. Okay, not really good as a handle. Uh, how as a plate? Uh, there we go. 800 durability, it would add. 
So, okay, there, there is one trick with hammers that is very useful. So, for the moment, let's go with a, a cobalt plate, and then we'll add another plate. Oop. Okay, it's, it's not eight anymore. Let's see. It's four. Okay. But th that's good. Okay, we leave this here for the moment then. Then we can um, use cobalt uh, plating and amethyst hammer then. Yep. Uh, let's see the hammer heads. Wait. We'll just make out of amethyst. I just realized. Four. Hmm? I mean, you, you make it. Oh no. Uh, you remember what I told you about cobalt? Yeah, it being very expl <laughs> very uh, explosive is mishandled. Oh, hello. Yeah, oh, and we to my father back then uh, when uh, about cobalt swords in of Warcraft when when this came out, and the first thing he told me is that he found it very suicidal to try to make swords out of cobalt due to the explosiveness. Yeah. It seems that the hammerhead is still uh, requiring more than just five or four in this case. Uh, so let's see. Where's the... We should have plenty of copper. You can still some smelted. There we go. Yeah, yeah. There's there's an eerie background noise now. Okay, let's see if it is six this time then. Hmm. Yeah, what the Blood Moon does is, well, anyone who's ever played Terravia will know, <laughs> it increases the mob spawn rate quite a lot. And there it seems some parts are clear, and well, it turns the moon red. <laughs> Big bloody reds at that. Oh dear. There we go. What the heck was that? Yeah, it was probably... Probably the wolves summoned by one of the wilden. Uh, that that was the wrong metal. There we go. Okay, still not enough. I'm guessing it'll take two more to actually make it eight. I, I, I guess they nerfed the plating since it would make sense. A plate is thinner in this case compared to the damn hammer. Okay, let's see. What would work well as uh, this? Uh, let's see. None of those are useful because we can't get those. Okay, let's see. Looking for durability more. 1.5 is not really good. Platinum osmium, 1.2. So it does slow down the mining speed some. Uh, iron for just good basic stuff. Not doing copper. Let's see. Slime steel, we don't have access to. Pig iron would do pretty well. It would slow the mining speed quite a bit. Cobalt is pretty basic. Let's see. So it's either osmium or I let let's do iron since then let's let's grab osmium. Uh, both of them are very useful. Very required resources. Yeah, but how common is osmium? Uh, I think less so than iron. And well, we can we can make iron of our own once we get the machine set up. Yeah, so, so iron, iron. Yeah, since that would mean we have some extra material to help repair it. That's iron dust. Also, let's put in one more gold here for something. Yep. Also, of course, select this. There we go. 
And yeah, it's <laughs> it's solidifying. Actually, yeah, no, it's cheap enough. Okay, you just grab those, both of them. Put this copper ingot in here. Then we switch to gold. And then we make an ingot cast. Uh, maybe you ruined the copper for it. Yeah, but copper is plentiful enough. Okay. So yeah, if we have extra material in here that we don't want to alloy with anything else, we can just get it out now. Okay. Tough handle. Actually. Does it? Okay. Yeah, it does say tough handle, three cost. And yeah, four and eight. Okay. Same for the other big heads, I believe. Yep. Okay. So we just need... Actually, how is the steel do any better? Let's see. Steel, 1.05, 1. 1.1. Okay. And iron. Okay, that is only slightly better in some bits, and in other is it is worse. Because there's actually lower durability effect. Okay. One, two, three. We're starting to run low on lava. Do we throw the cow in as a few? No. And also fun fact, apparently off screen on the oldest uh, map, he may have a few accidents with his uh, smelter. Yep. <laughs> Enough so that the, there was a lot of blood in his furnace to be turned into blood ingots. Let's see. Part chest. Yep. Chest and a pattern. Yeah, so you realize that's kind of a dark pun that you basically could have made the sword, sword literally through your own sweat and blood. Yeah. A bit too little. Yeah, kind of freaky. Okay, just putting that on there for a moment of storage. And then over here we go and make a large stone plate. And then we put everything together. Select that. Put that in. Uh, put that in. That. And the, the anvil head. And there we go. Sledgehammer. Let's actually put that first, just for the looks of it. And yeah, that's a pretty good hammer, I'd say. Almost 3,000 yeah. durability. A bit slow on mining speed, but oh well, it's going to last a long time. Yeah, I think it's probably this that is slowing it down on the mining speed, but having a stone plate in there will allow us to repair this thing with stone. Which is going yeah. to be a lot more, a lot cheaper than <coughs> than cobalt. Yeah. No. <laughs> now I wonder: will it only be repaired by things that are made, the plates are made of, or any metal it's made of? I think anything except for the handle, I believe. Oh, we can pity. figure that out in time. We can also still apply two ability, you know, two upgrades, and one ability to it. Though I don't know too much about those. Uh, abilities at least upgrades we can make it speedier or hit it heavy harder or we can put on let's say an emerald to increase its durability even further or a diamond which actually improves it a lot less for some reason but that's that's probably because emeralds are normally supposed to be a lot more rare but yeah we found a hell of a lot of them already yeah. <laughs> so let's take that. And let's see, we can't rename it here, but we can rename it on a normal anvil. Uh, what do you plan to name it? Uh, diggy diggy hole. Oop. 
Okay. The... Well, that confirms one thing, I'd say. Uh, the, w <laughs> the summoned wolves don't actually go for the cats, so that solves one problem I've had. Yeah, but still... Yeah, you're probably gonna need to use that house downstairs. Down, st down the hill, I mean. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Surprised myself for a moment there because we jumped off of the slime block, which launches us. Actually, I know all I need to know now to at least creeper proof the door. Oh? Because if the dogs don't go after. <laughs> Luckily, the cat helping there for a moment. If the dogs don't go after the cats, then that means that if I leave a gap underneath with the uh, cats, then the it should still chase off any creepers that get you know, get near the door. If I you know, just park the cat outside with a little wall around it. Oh dear. There we go. Okay, how much damage? Okay, 7.7 .7 damage on that. And 7.16 on this. Yeah, hammers are pretty damaging, but of course they are very slow. Holy. I still need to sort all of that junk out. But yeah, just going to... One, two. Mm. I'm not sure this is worth the risk. Now yeah, we'll see if by next time there's a fresh hole in the wall. The other is that they don't see the cat and explode near than killing the cat. The creeper is affected by something. Almost mi well, I missed the first one. Oh, you are you are buffed by something. Yeah. And also I learned something else. Apparently if you just flail with a quick sword against the creeper, it's unable to explode. Okay. Is it invincible or something at the moment? It, oh no, it's regen. It's it was well, it was regenerating. Okay, where the hell did it? Might have that, that must have been something from the blood moon. That would that would explain if a blood moon can also in some games just summon not just more mobs, also stronger mobs. Yeah, we see. Is it gonna need to? Make a big wall and fill up inside of the wall with dirt just to make it taller and more even. And yeah, then nothing can just climb up from the beach up to here. Okay, Kitty, follow. I feel like we should have extra cats before doing this. A bit closer. No, not that way, kitty. Can you push the cat? Where are you? Okay, I get the feeling it was headed for the bed. <laughs> Talking about some experience? Well, Ink, Ink has been climbing onto the bed a lot more often recently. Still mostly to get someone to get her food. Make a guess. She'll come up to you and tell you, feed me, peasant. Uh, in cat song, at least, yeah. Come on. Ready? I, I, I still wonder if the cat has trouble seeing you due to that damn thing. I, I think it's 
for the most part, trying to follow after me. So it's not getting distracted by something. Actually, let's be cat. Let's let cats be cats and uh, work around it. So one, two, three. Okay, it should stay in place there, and it should be safe from any wild attacks. Actually, put that block back, just in case. I think I, mm, this is a bit close, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Just in case. And I, I, I pray that works, and it's not the case of they don't see because they... They're not going to see it, are they, because of the height difference? Maybe, maybe not. We'll just have to see. And if they don't see it, then we'll just have to, well, work this up one block. Now, is there a creeper we can annoy into following us to test this thing? Rather than, well, <laughs> having it be, uh, <clears throat> having it be tested by trial by fire? As a I can see them getting scared if they run up the hill, then they would probably see it. Okay, no creeper around. Not on the mini map either. Okay. And if we get ambushed by a creeper now at the door, we know it doesn't work. Yeah. Oh dear. And it. Yeah, we have no more sledge hammer. I don't know what on my mouth I'm about to say there. I don't think a hammer is a. Is that a word? Hammer? Probably not. Uh, let's see. A bit away. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just going to make a quick uh, parts chest. Or actually, let me check. Tinker's chest, parts chest, cast chest. That is what we need. Okay, uh, four bricks. And, well, then one bricks. Hmm. So eight. I don't think we have enough for that. Okay. Special chest for special... I, I kind of like that. Uh, makes organizing easier. Yeah. Okay, for the moment, we'll just have to do with the normal chest, then. Let's put that there. Easiest place. Uh, we are missing one, but that's because we put it away here, I think. No. Okay, where is the plate one? Oh, here it is. Okay. Well, that's the oh, stuff of tinkers that we need done at the moment, though we should probably also just make a shovel. An excavator, as it's called, because we'll probably be digging up a lot of dirt as well. Yeah, useful dirt, but still dirt. Yeah, so that is going to be... Eight copper and eight. Mm. Not the cobalt. For some reason, I don't know what is causing that, but sometimes it just throws in more than you want. Okay, eighth amethyst. Then we need to throw in three iron for the handle, or actually. It has two handles. Okay. Then we can do a little test with that. Uh, by putting in some wood to see how that will affect things. Exactly enough. Okay, tough handle there. Uh, we, of course, now we, we already have the plates. Or the, the 
plate mold, that is. Okay. There. And then we need to make one with cobble. And... Put these here for the moment to keep them safe. Can we store them on the anvil itself or will they just kick them off? Okay, they can be stored on there. Nice. And I'm back. I just went to grab something. Okay. Remove that and then we make the, met the iron handle. Okay, we made too much of Okay, we can make we can make something else with that amethyst bronze, maybe a sword. See how that compares to the tetra ones that we'll be making. Yeah, we we should probably investigate the uh, what you can use with the tetra mod uh, so you can see uh, what other methods you can use in the meanwhile. Okay, amethyst bronze uh, stone excavator. Actually I kinda wonder. Can you use armor on the Tetra mod? Let's actually go check that. Yeah, but it, it would be nice if you can get some different variations of armor. No. Oh, okay. come on. There might be a mod that does expand it to it, but we'll, I'll just have to look for that after we're done with the stream. Yeah, no, we, we do <laughs> have plenty of, of other armor options already, luckily enough. Yeah. Like the mage robes. Uh, let's see. The way things are set up, it'll probably be best to just lower the floor by one with all of this. Yeah, probably a good idea. Just be careful. Oh, they... Okay. Magic uh, backpack. All right. Nothing uh, weird. Aim to door the explorers once. Uh, a backpack is magical. <laughs> I, I, I I am not I surprised. Yeah, I I don't I, I haven't actually watched much, if any, door the explorer. Nor have I really. I think I've seen some glimpse of it, and I don't like it. I don't think I... Maybe I would move the yoke memes? Like... Dora the Destroyer? Okay. Basically just a, a, a guy... A written bodybuilder in Dora Explorer outfit. <laughs> okay. Uh... Now, now, you, now you get the Destroyer part, don't you? Yeah. I think they just did it for the sh shits and giggles. Do you any need any better reason? Uh, sometimes you need a better reason. Like... Yeah, don't find nuclear weapon for shits, shits and giggles, just don't do that. Uh, yeah, that, that's a good one. Okay. And... Uh, and don't 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 go piss off Cthulhu. He just wanna sit. He just wanna enjoy his games. Okay then. Um, we can. Hmm. We we should probably leave this area mostly for preparation or something, and just resting stuff. So we don't really need a crawl space underneath it. Yeah, we we should go deeper than this. Since some of your contraptions are going to end up tall. Okay. I'll line this up with the power walls eventually. But for now, just a crude little chamber will do. <laughs> Look at your hammer! <laughs> it looks like a toy. Yeah, that does it look... It it looks like a magical princess hammer or some kind. Yeah, magical princess of whacking everything yeah, with a big ass hammer. 
Yeah. So basically, Amy Rose. Oh, her! <laughs> creak, creak, the gears are turning. Yeah, I, 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 I think I want to watch maybe a bit of one episode of that. Uh, Amy's in the games as well. Yeah, and not play the games. I, I think I'm mostly new of things to fan art and memes. There we go. Now, a lot of people find Amy annoying, but I don't find her that annoying. Then again, I'm the type of person who somewhat enjoys Jar Jar Binks, so my my annoyance uh, tolerance is a lot higher than a lot of people, apparently. Yeah, like, there has been moments I think Jar Jar is funny, but also annoying or just neutral. I never, I just never hated him. Like, I can see people not finding him funny, that's fine, but I never understood the hate. Yeah, I, I think that was more for what people sort of... Uh, not, I'm not sure I'm the exact word, but that uh, Jar Jar is a sign of, uh, yeah, George Lucas selling out. Uh, to get Jar Jar was added as comic relief for little kids you know, for, that would watch Star Wars. So it, it's it's less that they hate Binks himself, and more what they perhaps presume he represents for them uh, to uh, to them. I can't say this. No, no kid I knew found him funny. At least not that amount. I thought, yeah, he's a bit small, he's funny, but they never laughed out loud. They kind of found it a bit awkward at times. Let's see, just put everything through this. Any metals here? Yes. Yeah, th these crossing wheels are just going to save us so much time in, well, having to find less resources, which gives us more time to actually work on stuff. Oh, yeah. So in that aspect, there are a way better option to, well, to rush towards than Tinker's Smelter, because that only adds uh, three nuggets for every ingot, I believe, which is just 30%, 33% extra. We're still going to need to set up a washing station to actually get the resources out of the gravel and sand, though. Yeah, for well, I, like I feel like combination with the Tinker and the Crusher will be more adding more metal in the long run. Okay, the fuck just happened here? I think that uh, Enderman was from the Blood Moon. Maybe. Okay. I, I get the feeling we're, go we're we're going at one point we're going out during a blood moon to see what the hell other things happen. Okay, for now just run all of the cobble through this thing. I'm feeling the blood moon will be the reason we're gonna end up as I said before just raising the ground outside so we have a a wall that's too high to just swim up to and climb up. Then we're probably gonna have some stairs to the bridge where the uh, main gate would be. What I'm doing now is just to... I'm, I'm just going to dig around the outline. So I don't have to go measuring up <clears throat> on the, where the walls actually are from above. So that should make contact if we dig towards it. Around here. Well, we made contact with something. Yeah, I think you missed it. Uh, 
But yeah, you can see how uh, I think we're Okay, we <laughs> we were too low for it. Okay. Um but that just in a way good. Could make a ceiling, a special ceiling that's a bit thicker. With some uh, Hmm. I wonder would they use the new spore lights when the spore things in, is in the nether? Should be good to do roof lights? Uh, the mushroom lights, you mean? Uh, yep. They would work pretty well, I'd say. Just laid into the uh, ceiling. Yep. That's the idea. Okay. Okay, we need to dig four down to reach the lower... The, the, to reach the first basement. So, can we put one of those loops on this? Let's see, flimsy handle. Long handle. Replaces the handle with a longer... Okay. Uh, is this enough? It lowers its uh, tier a bit. But it does add two blocks of reach. That is, that is what we need. Slows it down, lessens it a bit, but oh well. There we go. Now we have a long shovel. And it's ac it actually is longer as well. Okay. Uh, wait. Okay, now we need, we need to dig down five layers. Hmm. Can we make this longer then as well? No. Okay, that... It'll make it a bit annoying, but oh well. Could do much worse than that. This means that we'll have to go along with the shovel at one point, or with the pickaxe. Careful here. Uh, did I? I should have an axe somewhere. We can actually test this one out now to see how it works. Okay, about the same speed as a normal axe, I believe. And let's see. Why 100? Okay. Two, that means two down from this. And it actually means that over here we can just dig into where the it will norm it's <coughs> the rooms will actually be. Actually what I could also just bloody do is to bring up a circle generator and just dig along the uh, <coughs> dig along the inside of a 32 wide circle. That'll probably be a lot easier to do than just working around everything here. Wait, a what now? A, cir a circle generator. It's basic. It basically just uh, you basically just put in a, a diameter for a circle, and it will generate uh, a design for how to make a, a circle of that width in Minecraft. Okay. Which is actually how I drew the <laughs> the outside of this tower. I thought you meant that you were to be an, another golem thing to dig it out for you. Uh, no. Okay. Fill that in. We'll deal with the rest of the opening some other time. Okay. Um, we've got our basics going in Tinkers, more than just our basics in Create, and some steps in Tetra as well. And we have, let's see, how much time left? Half an hour. Okay. Um, I, I don't think we'd want to go building for half an hour, so 
what is something you'd think we should work you know, on then? Maybe finally get that hmm. bloody <laughs> that pl bloody fa uh, animal farm set up. We do have a farm by the house. That's wild. Actually, we could get started on Ars Nouveau, since there is a bunch of wild in our, out now. Yeah, we could. Uh... I think we could do some, some exploring and gathering. Uh, what the? Okay. <laughs> Must have also been leftovers. And this is... Oh. I think that it was a Spirit of Vengeance, which is from Corail Tombstone. And I saw you here. Holy... We're going to need some wild and horns and stuff for Drake Maze. But yeah, the, the blood moons are a lot more cool than I actually thought they were then. Yeah, bloody heck. But yeah, I think you can see what I mean here, that we're going to need to raise up the ground to be more even. Which makes it easier to build on, but also more secure. Uh, most of the building will do in or on the sides of the tower, except for yeah. some of the farms. For now yeah, that's that my thought that the, the yeah raising up the ground like about this high would be excellent for wood and farms. Uh, let's see. We need to make four farms, I think, at the very least. One for wood, one for kelp, so we can make uh, conveyor belts out of that. One for wheat, and maybe other foods as well. And one for sugarcane, so we can make books. Hmm. Hmm. But uh, yeah, that would actually require a bit more work than I'm... Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to spend the rest of this just uh, building more like that. So let's go look into Ars Nouveau. And it would probably help if I found that bloody help book, wherever it is. It's probably in one of the... Uh, <clears throat> probably in one of these. Uh, also some more metal for us to work with. Uh, let's see. Origins of Darkness. Uh, there it is. Okay. Let's see. Ars Nouveau is the... Yep, there. The worn, uh, <clears throat> the worn notebook. Okay, getting started. We need... Let's see. Starting automation, no. Okay, we need a spell book first. So, book. Okay. Yep, <laughs> easy enough. A bunch of iron tools and a book. So, do we have any spares that are full? Actually, will it take damaged ones? Because then we have at least two already. Um, bunch of spell books, book and quill. Hmm, good question. Um, <laughs> full stack of emeralds. I just realized it says, it, I, I'm pretty sure you're going to need sooner or later to make a new door that's a nicer position than the current one. Yeah. Which makes me wonder would it be a good idea to have a Turrets next to the door. Uh, we could try that. We definitely help protect the things if they work. Uh, I know I have a bunch of books somewhere. If not, we have at least paper to make a book. Ah, there they are. Immediately in the very next chest. Okay. 
was a sword, pickaxe, shovel, and axe. Okay. So, book, shovel, axe, not that. The pickaxe and a sword. We have a... Well, we have both of those in here. So, let's see. Okay, so it does take the damaged ones. <laughs> They'll save a bit for us. Okay, and there we have our novel nice. spellbook. Very and nice. To actually get to really work with that, we are, are going to need... Uh, where is that table? Ah, there it is, the scribes table. Which is arts wood slabs. Uh, an, uh, a log of any arts wood. So it needs to be stripped, it seems, and some sticks, or, okay, it doesn't need to be stripped. And we have archwood in one of these, and logs, certainly, there. I should probably, I should probably set up some uh, <laughs> of the, <clears throat> some of the archwood saplings as well to grow, though maybe not with a farm. Yeah, probably should plant them outside. Yeah. Then... Yeah, I feel like some of the building, like the bigger buildings, we're definitely gonna need to do off screen. Yeah. Since I don't know if anyone wanna see you just put it down dirt and stone walls hmm. for two hours. And the log goes there, and there's the scribe's table. Okay. For the moment, we'll slap that down here. And now if we put the book on there... Okay, we can select... <clears throat> we can select what glyph to go for, and it will show the materials that we need to actually unlock it. For this one, we need a pressure plate and iron boots for the underfoot... Uh, glyph, which basically would apply whatever spell we're making to, well, the, f the floor that we're standing on. So if we were to put that together with a, uh, let's see, freeze glyph, it would free, well, it would turn all the, all, well, any water we walk over into ice. Nice. Let's see. Okay, we can nice get ice. That. Amplify as well. Actually, if I remember correctly, these will actually draw from nearby inventories. So if we select that one, yeah, it will automatically draw from nearby inventories. So maybe <laughs> we should put it closer than that. That was awesome. And we have a spruce pressure plate. So if we just throw that in there and the clip gets written. There we go. And we just collect it, use it, and we've unlocked it. Okay. Uh, amplify is a good one. And just for that, we're going to quickly make a diamond pickaxe. Amplify, what it does is basically just strengthens whatever uh, else you put in the spell. Nice. Uh, wait, diamond pickaxe? Yeah. It is a bit of a sacrifice, but it is powerful. So one, two, three. Good here. We're not putting that one in there. Luckily, it doesn't auto draw from your inventory. Yeah, that would otherwise be a disaster. Yeah. It just pops off, and we unlock. Okay, anything else in here? Uh, this one is annoying, I found, because fire... It does, the game doesn't actually show you how you can make firework stars. But I believe it is actually extremely easy. So, just do a star like that. And yeah, it, it refuses to show, if we click on this, uh, show the recipe. But if I remember correctly, it is just gunpowder with something else. I forget what specifically, though. We should have a good collection of gunpowder from the creepers we've killed. 
there. And the Demites. Nedamites or whatever they're all. So, let's see. Will this show... Firework Star Spire Charges? But not stars yet. Oh, hello. Generalized Nether Prediction. Okay. Hostile Neural Networks. I can't say I've heard of that before. Hmm. Is this going to show the stars, or do I just need to go quickly look it up? Look it up. Uh, looks like it. But what can we use? Okay, we can't make much from fireworks. Let me do a quick search then on the phone. Because I know this is a really simple recipe, even if the computer refused to show it. Let's see. Minecraft Firework Star. Okay. And that is made how? Let's see. Gunpowder plus any dye. So, yeah, stupidly simple. Yeah, you know, I wonder why they, it just doesn't show, it, it must be a bug. Uh, probably, there are just an absolute ton of mods in this game, so some of them are bound to break sooner or later. Yeah, and uh, I think we have put up on this before, that uh, if all the mod 7s cause way more issues, we will make our own mod pack, basically. There we go. Firework star. So, Automod 7 is a good way to find mods you want to use. Yep. And there we go. Now we have AoE. Okay. Nice. For every, for every glyph of AoE that we apply to a spell, because we can craft our own spells from the form augments and effects now, if we just do projectile which blocks off all the other things then we put in break and okay aoe is too powerful for your current spell book okay uh, for each level of you know for each glyph of uh, aoe that we would add it would enlarge the area that the spell would affect by one block so if we normally this would just break one block if we put one aoe on it you would break a 2x2, two two, or it adds to the radius. 2 would make it a 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, etc, etc, until you'd reach the maximum, which is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So a 9x9 nine nine is the maximum break spell that you can make with that. Holy! And let's see, how do we upgrade this thing again? Okay, so obsidian, some diamonds... Quartz and blaze rods. We haven't found a blaze. We haven't found blazes yet. Well, so, I guess we can use the little time we have remaining to hunt blazes. Oh, there's a bunch of skeletons over at the village. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh, quickly sleep before they eradicate the population. Uh, here for you to go and save them. I'll save them by causing the skeletons to catch fire. And I can hear one right next to the tower. Yeah, I was just to say, here we hear them burning. Okay, that doesn't get rid of the wild one, of course. Actually, before we head off, there's probably yeah, M two more things we should make with Tetra. Yeah, and you should also, you know, fix the bag. I don't think you want to bring everything with you. Yeah. Um, let's see, we're going to need wood. We're going to need a bit of iron. And we're going to need string. But it looks like you almost need to make a new bag. Yeah, we could. It, copper is plentiful enough to make another copper bag. Though the one I have on me is an iron one, I believe. 
So we no, we have a. It's a gold one. Okay. Uh, let's see. How is this done again? Shields. Okay. Just short with the wood. So there. There, 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 and there. Just. I hope there's uh, uh, go one up. this other table next to you can do something with shields at least. Yeah, it should. I think I did read up, yeah, read that it does. Let's quickly Ooh, just nice. deposit a bunch. We need that. One, two, three. And where is the string? There is the string. One, two, three. Okay, there and there. Now we have a shield and a bow that we can run through this. You're still on, on there. Okay, uh, shield. Okay, wooden tower plate and iron grip and no whatever. Okay, spike. Craft a shield spike from the given materials. Blocking melee attacks as a chance of to damage the attacker. Okay. That will be useful against some foes. Yeah, and sturdy boss, craft a sturdy boss that makes it possible to bash on their entities using this shield. Okay, so it's uh, a spike or a shield bash. Both are useful. Do I feel like I, hmm, I don't think bash could be one of those that are awesome in some situation, but could also be a issue at some situations, like... You bash away the mob you plan to loot a bit too far. Yeah, nope, we need to we need to grab the upgraded hammer. Uh, where did we leave that thing? Probably in here. That's the engineer's hammer. Did it go into the inv Let's see. I see a hammer there. Up there. There we go. Okay, boss, spike, iron, not strong enough. Okay. Uh, there is an easy way to fix that. That is to get some water. And then go make some obsidian. I'm going to assume that Tetra... I Tetra items don't break, completely break, or as in just completely disappear. But that they will just become unusable. Actually, no, we're not going to risk that. I was thinking I'll just grab some lava from the, the nether. But I'd rather not, not get too close to it. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, luckily there is an open... Lava source over here. So yeah, we'll just <laughs> run through this, you know, to the village for a bit. I, I have no idea how to un, you know, rust or. Wait, wait, it's hold it's on, hold on. One of them moved. Uh, it probably got pushed aside by something passing through. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think have what copper golems do is that they randomly press buttons, I believe. Which is a, a quirky little thing, but I think it would work pretty well if you set it in a control room or a <laughs> just a trap corridor that mobs would have to get through. Or in a workshop. A mod grinder. Some oil for later. Uh, the public swimming pool. <laughs> Seriously, all of them are stuck in here, almost. Oh, oh, buggers. Yeah, at least they're clean. We definitely need to get you some other food than, than only apples. Uh, yeah, the wheat uh, farm will make do for that. I'll see about... Oh, 
there's not really a need to try and get a horse, since one of the spells with Ars Nouveau is, gives us a horse uh, temporarily, but still it gives one and we can summon at any time. Yeah, the, it would be good to have a horse we can give armor to, but we only need to ride around quickly, then uh, the spell is just, just excellent for that. Yeah. Okay. Safety first. <clears throat> And yeah, by by doing this, we not only yeah. pardon, we not only assure that uh, any lava underneath uh, gets uh, well immediately turned into more obsidian. It also ensures that the obsidian that we mine doesn't get vaporized. So what obsidian think... was immune to lava? Uh, no, that's netherite. Oh. I think we'll need about four or six to make an obsidian hammer. Actually, we should be able to mine it a lot slower yeah, I, because I mean, it's it, working at six at a time, but still. Yeah, but this one hammer is supposed to be diamond quality. Yeah, you can see in the upper left that it is strong enough by the uh, the check mark. Okay, almost. And there we go. Eight diamonds, not eight diamonds, <laughs> eight obsidian. Nice. Okay, there's a bee around there. I, I don't think we've seen the bee that was flying around the tower for a bit now. Oh, that, um, uh, you see, I... Got a bit hungry. Well, I presume it was a, a meal that had some sting to it. I mean, that's so I let him go. Uh, I think it was it's not worth the trouble. <laughs> I think it still happens decent, uh, fre decently frequently enough that dogs try to eat bees and uh, very quickly learn why not to. Yeah. yeah. I, th I thought I still had a sampling in my inventory. Uh, that is, I think it's called a, sp I completely forgot how, the, what name they have, but if you go grow a tree next to them, uh, they will no, they will join you, simply said. So if we can just find a quick sapling in the inventory. Yeah, uh, what do they do again when they join you? They help you grow stuff? Probably. I haven't actually got... I didn't actually get... Any, I got charms from them in the uh, previous map, but I'd never actually made, I never actually made their charm to in a functional thing. So, still plenty of space. Uh, it, we could also run obsidian through this to make, first off we need it for waystones as well. Uh, here to make hmm. okay so it would make powdered obsidian and with a good chance to actually preserve it okay and powdered obsidian is used in pure purple chalk okay hmm. okay reset the day furious and uh, let's see then. Uh, first off, what we actually went out to do. The hammer. And then we upgrade its he both of its heads. Because if you upgrade both heads it is up to the same level, in this case stone, it upgrades its tier by one. Okay, we need a 
tier 3 hammer to even make obsidian heads. Hmm. I think... Let's see. Does this have an, an... This should show us the stuff that we can get and make. So, let's see. Craft uh, materials. Then we have... Let's see. Which of these is the level? Okay, over... That shows the level. And steel is steel would make for a level three hammer. And which is the oh, there was steel so sky metal. Elementium bronze. Okay, that that's a lot easier to make. Copper. Let's see. Yeah, obsidian level 5. And there it is. Blackstone makes level 3 as well. But bronze should be a lot easier to make for us at the moment. Yeah, do, um, did we find blackstone in one of the chests down there? Uh, we found it next to lava at the very least. I don't think we have it in our inventory, or at the very least not enough to make uh, a, <clears throat> a two-headed hammer with that. Okay, so bronze it is, which, if I recall correctly, is tin and copper. Bronze dust, copper... And tin, okay. We've probably run some tin through this already. So, zinc, tin. Uh, run that through. Actually, let's just... Let's just dump out a bunch of stuff again. Wherever it's already at. Yeah, it's going to take a while for us to get organized. But we're going to need to have a good base and organization before we... Yeah, before we start a colony. Yep. Okay. Uh, tin and copper. Then, actually, we don't need to put that in there. We can just put it in here. We probably need four. So, oh, that makes... Okay, that does preserve the amount. Not you. Or you. You can see how this can be re really annoying with some of the stuff it will automatically throw in. Okay, molten bronze. Then we just get this here. And there. Once again, the music has just vanished for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, it does seem to be a normal thing about Minecraft. Like, I think people go, uh, trace they were finding some ambient sound and music in the Nether, but they, they, they are people playing that they add more ambience and music to the overworld. That people actually find the overworld sometimes scary. Okay. And uh, I took that moment to swap out my glasses because I was still wearing my normal glasses and not my monitor glasses. Wait. With do, you have, hmm? do you have two different glasses for a different job? Uh, uh, my, the monitor glasses have a blue light filter put into them. My normal glasses don't. So, and yeah, that helps a lot when I need to look at screens for a lot of time for like streaming and with my work. All right. I think both my glasses have had that, including these ones. But then again, I also have now a both PC screens that have that the filter as well. Okay, odd. It doesn't recognize this type of bronze. Hmm. Actually, would iron do? Uh, 
And we're going to need a new hammer because we've uh, we turned the other hammer into something entirely different. Maybe we should go for the black stone off the wall. Uh, maybe. There's the music. Finally. About five minutes before we end the stream. Okay, let's see. One iron head. And another iron head. Yep, yep, the iron got pushed out. Did it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Ham not axe head. Hammer head. Iron. Okay, that makes it tier 3. Craft. And then with the, we put the iron hammer in our inventory. We grab the... Okay. This stone hammer gets put then in then. And... Where's, where did the obsidian go? Really, we had dark stone with us the entire time. Okay. <laughs> That's something rather typical with us, huh? Uh, typical yeah. with you. <laughs> okay. Then we go hammerhead, obsidian, craft, hammerhead, obsidian. It only it only takes one. Oh, integrity usage. That integrity is sort of the uh, the health of an item, so we need to upgrade that first before we can upgrade this to a full obsidian hammer. And I'm guessing the first step to that would be to... Hmm. Okay, not an iron handle, it seems. What? My binding gear work? For binding, we need string, which is over here. Okay, how do we upgrade it? It's... Hmm. Okay, that doesn't upgrade the integrity. It's still an upgrade. So hammerhead, obsidian... Okay, whatever we did, it... I'm guessing it did upgrade the integrity. There we go. One obsidian hammer. Which is a level 6 hammer, apparently. Ooh. Then if we change out the handle for iron, that... Okay, that does... Putting on better items and filling in minor bits does seem to... That, that, that increases the... the the integrity. So let's give that an iron handle as well. And yeah, that's a pretty good hammer. Nice. Uh, let's chuck the sand out for a second. Uh, put that away. Put that away. So what else could we upgrade on our sword then with di with uh, obsidian? See, we, we have five integrity to use here. So, let's see. Simple hilt. We can only use iron or sticks for that. We've already got an iron in there. Let's see. Reinforced fuller. Also still iron. We've already got a... <coughs> we've already got a diamond socketed in. Uh, let's see. Grip loop. Also the same. Hmm. Diamond blade. Let's see. Oh, obsid we could make an obsidian machete. Uh, would that make it stronger? Uh, it would upgrade the. Uh, it would upgrade the tier, but it would lower the attack speed. It, that's the timer going off. It would. 
it would lower the attack speed and the durability, so that would be a, a downgrade on that. Uh, hmm. Let's see. We could still do these upgrades. Carver Hook. Carver Hook into the backside of the blade, providing additional damage when hitting unsuspecting enemies. Causes critical strikes when attacking enemies from behind. Not that useful in single player, but probably a lot more useful in multiplayer. Serrate, serrates the blades. Uh, providing a sawtooth edge blade has a 30% chance to cause the target to bleed for 4 damage over 2 seconds. Not effective against undead. Makes sense. And then there's yeah. temper. Temper the point, greatly increasing its hardness, causes some of the damage dealt to ignore armor. Okay. Okay, that sounds better sense. Let's be honest, a lot of Minecraft's enemies is undead. And let's see. Hmm. I, I did oh, yeah, hear was, one thing though about there this. Wasn't, that, uh, but was it Heavy Blade Longer Reach? Uh, let's see. It has more sweeping, but and it deals more damage, but it slows it down quite a bit. And also its durability, at least when if we use obsidian. If we had if we grab our diamonds, that would probably be different. Yeah. But wasn't there some upgrade that extended its reach? Yeah, that's the loop hook that we put on. Oh, alright. So we already have it. Good, good. Yeah. Grip loop. Still this wait, now it recognizes bronze. And it seems to be about the same durability. Stats wise, okay. Uh, yeah, let's quickly take another look at this. Uh, wait, why? It's not recognizing the diamonds as a usable material for the blades now. Hmm. Uh, okay, also, uh, something I did re read on the wiki is that upgrade uh, selections with a plus here are permanent, unremovable upgrades. So if we That's do a... this, but we need a we need a better cutting tool for that, uh, or at least one in our inventory. So we need either a knife or a sword for that. But uh, yeah, I, I I'll I'll look more into Tetra uh, be, before the next stream. Hopefully, I'll freaking remember it this time. And uh, yeah, let's call it there. And go find someone to raid. Sure. Okay. Uh, moving over here. Uh, moving the screen share to this. There we go. Closed on Minecraft in the background, so it isn't draining resources. And let's see who are on at the moment. Uh, Touch Scaly Tail is <laughs> also streaming Minecraft. Probably still. Uh, okay, the description doesn't really say what uh, <clears throat> what mod pack they might be playing, but I'm guessing it's more Vault Hunters or whatever it was. Uh, let's see. Then we have K9, uh, who is playing Near Replicant. Uh, Varia XLP is streaming Thief, as in the latest Thief game, I'm pretty sure. Then we have it's uh, it's Unia, or Unia. I'm I'm presuming that's how it's pronounced. I don't actually have I haven't actually heard her name pronounced a lot. Uh, she is streaming Genshin Impact, twelve hour birthday stream. Okay, holy. And then we have the only Blue Empire, also known as Lilith, who is streaming Persona Five Royal. Uh, I'm guessing it's an easy guess then. Yeah, but why not say hello to the birthday kid? Yeah. Okay, as usual, mute the site, head over, copy the name, just to ensure that there are no is no chance at all of a, a mistype. And there we go, slash rate, paste. Okay, but before we head off, of course, uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, things are still rather chaotic, as they tend to be whenever I'm starting with Minecraft. 
but hopefully by next time we will be able to uh, <coughs> pardon we'll have things sorted out a lot more i i might make the big the ground floor the storage area for the moment move the create things downstairs and yeah we'll see from there oh yeah and uh, now tomorrow uh, sunday I still need to install and test some of the games for Showcase Sunday, but it should be done easily enough. Uh, as for next week's streaming, I'll have to double check my schedule and see if it hasn't been changed or anything. Now, uh, typically, if my schedule were changed be between a certain amount of time, like two weeks or so, they would be required to alert me to this, but it has happened before that it was changed and I wasn't told, so... Yeah, better safe than sorry. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll see when we can stream next week. All right. All right. So let's start the raid then. And uh, yeah, again, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for creepers. <laughs> oh, oh, well. <laughs> Hello there, Arceus. Finally speaking up, huh? <laughs> uh, thank you for watching as well. And uh, yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed the show. And until next time, again. Yep. Be safe, everyone.